Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I have a bit of a rant video. I uh, didn't really know what to post about, and uh, you know, I'm waiting for the news because if you guys saw one of my videos from a few days ago, I want to start putting new segments um, just kind of a month at a time, focusing on the bigger news. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I needed to post a video, so I figured might as well just make a rant video. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So I, I want to start off by saying I apologize if I uh, get a little bit of uh, off target sometimes, be a bit random, or if there's some awkward like silence <laughs> in between. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to get started. Now the gameplay you guys are seeing in the background is Battlefield Hardline. I am playing the Hotwire game mode, and I want to start off by saying this game mode is the game mode to play if you want to uh, get money now uh, th it is insane how much money you can get in this game and uh, you know if you have boosts that are you, that you're able to put on your uh, class as well it just makes it that much better so basically if you guys don't know this game mode all all you really need to do is get in a car and basically drive that is pretty much all you have to do and uh, basically, as you're driving around, you're earning XP. But uh, you guys are going to see in this video, I'm not really focusing on the uh, XP and money part for uh, this gameplay, I guess. This one, I, uh, you know, I've kind of started uh, working away from that because, I mean, it does get a bit boring after a while. Uh, just driving around trying to uh, not die because explosives are just so good in this game mode. You can, uh, usually when you shoot a rocket, you get like a four or five piece every time because there's so many people riding in one car. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. I, I'm absolutely loving this game mode and not, like I said, not only is this good for the money, this is also good for uh, the XP so you level up pretty quick and, uh, whatnot. I will say the RPG is probably the most overpowered thing in this game mode. Um, it's pretty much got dead on accuracy as long as you uh, shoot it at a considerable range. And uh, you know, it's this this game mode's a, it's a lot of fun once you start to play it. And uh, you know, you you do gotta watch out for explosives. So. Uh, you're either running to the people like I'm doing right now that uh, use RPGs to uh, try to get people off you and whatnot, or you'll run into the people that use the breaching charges. Now the breaching charges are just awful, they suck, and you know they're pretty annoying when you uh, run into them. Because basically, not this map, but the, uh, the map Everglades, uh, there's a bridge on it, and there's this huge ramp that you just really want to hit, and people will just throw down their breaching charges on it, wait for you to drive over, and then blow you up. So, it's pretty depressing. You see that huge ramp right there, you go to jump it, and then you're dead. So, that's not too much fun, but, yeah, me and uh, Sharon have been playing the crap out of this game mode, and we've been leveling up like crazy, and we've seen other people who uh, have probably been in this game mode since the game really came out and they're upwards of level like 160 and above and that's just insane now uh, we don't put that much time into the game and we do play other game modes trust me uh, this gets old after a while but if you want money if you want a lot of money and you want to earn it fast this is probably one of the ways to go and uh, you know it's 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 a lot of fun if you uh, get a lot of people in it. The uh, bigger lobbies is kind of chaotic, and uh, I will say that you better watch out for helicopters in this game mode because there are some people out there who are just so like MLG pro at flying those things that you know you you basically screwed if you get one of those people in your lobby because you know especially when you get on the maps that have the uh, you know like the personal. I don't even know what they're called. They're like the attack helicopters that the actual driver can actually shoot them and fly them at the same time. You'll get people in those lobbies that are just so insane. You can tell that they definitely practice, practice, practice helicopter flying and they've been used to it since as long as they can remember. And, uh, you know, the. You guys are going to see me grab a whole bunch of, like, RPGs throughout the game. And you see, I'm, I'm going to get them from the trunk of the cars a lot. 
and basically to do this it's an upgrade on one of your cars and uh, before you like spawn in you go to vehicles and then you go and upgrade them and basically to unlock the upgrades you basically use these vehicles you uh, you can uh, either just jump in this game mode drive those vehicles around and whatnot level them up unlock some of the other stuff and one of the things you can unlock is the RPG the other things you can unlock is like the uh, I don't even know what it's called, like the anti-air uh, missile, and you can unlock a uh, pretty nice LMG. So uh, those are the things you can unlock. Um, it's like I said before, it's it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun, and uh, you know, I uh, I've really enjoyed Battlefield Hardline so far. Um, it's just recently we uh, started playing this game mode, and uh, you know, before we pretty much stuck to Conquest Large. As you can see there, I got uh, stuck on the wrong end of the RPG, but, I mean, this is the game mode to play if you want to level up and whatnot, because me and uh, Sharon, we had uh, these 200% boosts uh, probably about a week ago, and uh, we were playing this game mode, we had just started playing it and realized how awesome it was, and... Uh, that night we started or before we started we were pro about level 30 ish and uh, we started playing and as we got done we leveled up like 15 times just that night and it was just insane the lower level you are the better this game mode is because the faster you will level up and uh whatnot but uh you know i highly do recommend this uh this game mode um, along with this, I really liked playing the uh, like the VIP game mode or the rescue one. That it's pretty much like search and destroy, because in Call of Duty, search and destroy is kind of like my go-to game mode. I absolutely love that game mode. You know, the one life. Um, you know, basically do whatever you want with it. And I see here the people on the couch. Um, I plan on making a video about that, but uh, you know, I recorded it and the. Uh, video file was corrupt so I may end up re-recording that and uh, putting it out but speaking of the couch there's actually news the other day that uh, they actually went in and they actually nerfed the couch and uh, basically if you don't know what the couch is it's basically a uh, vehicle you can ride in this game it fits up to four people and uh, it, it's it's pretty self-explanatory you uh, basically drive around in a couch you somebody take out that uh, helicopter right there and get all those kills that just shows you that the rocket launchers in this game are just amazing but uh yeah the couch they uh, made it a little bit worse there's uh, like two spawn locations I'm actually pretty close to one of them and uh, it's 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 pretty weak now and it takes a little bit longer to repair so that's how they uh, I guess patched it or made it a little worse so right here where I'm standing is actually one of them and then if you go down the street behind me there should be another one down there or just it's, it spawns in one of those two locations, I should say. And, uh, you know, this this game mode's a lot of fun. I, uh, I really enjoy playing it on this map. Um, you know, this map and Everglades are probably the two uh, best game modes, or game, or maps, I should say, to play it on. Um, I know Derailed's a pretty good one that a lot of people like. And, you know, I, I agree with that, but I don't care for when the, uh, when the actual rail system, the bridge across the, like, the... I don't even know what it's called. Uh, the canal, I guess. When it blows up and uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff down there. I don't really care for that, but basically the best way to earn money, level up in this game mode is to make sure you get your boosts and get in a car and drive around the whole time and make sure you're getting points the whole time. And, you know, the higher the boost, the better. And you can, you can level up in no time and get plenty of money. And, uh, like I said... Probably about two or three days, Sharon had already made about $500,000, and he had uh, bought the green tiger camo, or zebra camo, whatever it is. And you guys are going to see here, this was an absolute mess. It just got crazy right here. And uh, you guys are see here, there's so many people, and, you know, I thought I was going to get a lot of kills, but I ended up getting shot from the side, and the car exploded. But, uh... You know, that was pretty awesome. It gets pretty chaotic with the more players you get. And, you know, the more players, the more fun it is. And I will say that uh, there are a decent amount of snipers that play in this game mode. I know uh, my buddy Bloodshots. I know uh, we... Uh, I don't think it was this game mode, actually. But uh, recently, we were 
trying to, or he was trying to break uh, a record one of his friends set, or the world record, for the longest headshot in this game. And I felt kind of bad because I'd been told that he's been trying to do this for about two or three weeks. Um, him and a buddy were trying to set it up. And, you know, I happened to jump into one of their uh, games like the other day or two days ago. And, you know, they'd been trying it for about 15 minutes, just couldn't get the shot on. And, you know, I put my uh, sniper on and probably about my third shot, I hit it across the map. I didn't break the record, or the supposed world record. But I was within a hundred meters, and uh, you know I got a. Uh, it was eleven hundred meters, and it was a headshot. That was that was just insane. I was kind of freaking out, and I felt really bad because he had been uh, trying at that for quite a long time, and you know I hope to uh, play with him soon. So uh, try to help him out and try to break his friend's record. Um, so that that'd be pretty cool. Right now, I correct me if I'm wrong, Bloodshots, if you do watch this. But I believe he said his friend's record was about 1,240, some, some, somewhere around that. Um, don't quote me on that. I know it's 1,200 something, I believe. So, uh, yeah. And if you guys saw my last video where I shouted him out, I uh, told you to go check out his channel. So if you guys haven't watched that video, I'll basically summar summarize it for you. So uh, if you go. I guess if you go to that channel and you look in the description, he's got two uh, links to his channels. So definitely go check him out. He's a great guy. And, uh, you know, I, I feel really bad for him. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to send him uh, some subscribers his way because, you know, he, uh, he took it in a pretty good way. I could tell he was a little irritated with me, which I do apologize for, Bloodshots. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for this video today, guys. 20 and 3, 8,000 score, just like that. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video today, guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.